So this one is interesting. First off, it is date night. We just looked at another house and now we've come here for date night, so. He takes me to the most special places on our dates. We have to pay for those dates, like we have to do something. So this is a unique situation. We are entering, we did a deal like this 13 years ago and it wound up being a great win-win-win for everybody. I'll explain what it is in just a minute. We did one again two years ago with a friend that we knew. Yep. And it's really called a value add type of a deal. And so people want to sell their house, it needs repair, but they don't want to put the money in or they don't have the money to put in or the time or the effort. We can come in, agree to a certain price with somebody, then we will actually come in and do the work and then sell the house, pay all the closing costs, selling costs, all that stuff. Hopefully there's meat left on the bone for us and the person gets the number they want. So it's a win-win-win where we don't actually buy the house, but we actually structure a deal where we can help them. We call it a joint venture, we call it a value add. You know, we've called it a lot of things over the years, but this house we've not seen yet. We're gonna see it while you're seeing it. Our team has already seen it. And again, we're here, it's date night. It's the first night of the COVID allowing us to come out. We're gonna see if we can find a restaurant that might be open. Outdoors. <laughs> Outdoors, I don't know if we can or not, because they're only allowed like two people per seat or don't even get me going. So um, let's check it out. It's kind of on a busy road in the back. You have the a back really is, cute, really the cute neighborhood. The neighborhood is really cute. Right, I mean, really cute neighborhood. Actually, even this landscaping could be really cute if it was yeah, it's done. A great, it's a great location. All right, let's check it out. I can tell you the budget for this house is I believe no more than $10,000 to spruce it up, clean it up, and get it ready for market and sell it. Okay. Okay. I'll look at it and I'll tell you if that's feasible or not. Well, then we won't do the deal. God, you're a pain in the ass. I love you, but you drive me up the wall. Did I just say that it wasn't I can doable? feel it. Yeah. I just I know you. I haven't even seen the house yet. I just know you. So, okay. So we're trying to find that's ways. Very... So we are post COVID. We're trying to find many different ways to innovate and figure out how to, to and do And 10,000 might be fine. So why would you, why would you do that? Here we go. So. so that looks like it's on the floor, so that can just be ripped up, and then the floors can be refinished. These, is there an upstairs or it's just this one level? I believe it's just a ranch. So, you know, you're looking at maybe $2,000 to refinish these floors. Busy, busy road in the backyard. You know, not a deal killer, but nonetheless, there's you know, a lot of cars there. I think that's something though a homeowner could look past though, because if you put up a, a six foot fence or you plant, you know, planted a hedge you back there or something. A fence there. All right. Let's keep looking. Our project manager will get this wall down. Me too. Okay. Like both sides of it. I believe so. There's stairs there, but you can always put a door to, that go to the uh, basement. But you can always put a oh. door at the bottom of the stairs. And then just put a, a half wall there so you, at least you can see into Are you crazy? the dining room. What are you talking about? You still have the stairwell. Of course you do. You can't take this, you can't take this out. So now I gotta find a flashlight so, or something okay. down here. So you take out this wall all together and yeah. you just put a railing in and then you cut, cut this wall in half. So at least you can see through all the way from the living room to here, to the dining room. So it feels open. And then just have an open stairwell to the basement. Yeah, and you put a door at the bottom of the basement stairs. We've done that before. I don't know why it's so confusing. I don't think it'll look good, but okay. Ching, to ching, to ching, to ching. Amber comes in the house. Choo, 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 choo. Money just peels off your wallet. So, go ahead. And then I would chop this wall in half and open it up to the living room over there. Cabinets are in good shape, so that's a big savings. Even the appliances, I think, are fine. We don't have a dishwasher. Okay. So that is a problemo. But that looks like a 24-inch cabinet. You could put a dishwasher right there, move this cabinet down, and then when you get rid of this wall, you could have the, the railing start a couple of you're steps back. Just, yeah, you're way over budget. We haven't even started, you're way over budget. So. The only problem with doing that is we'd have to get new countertops. So or, or you just get rid of this cabinet and put a dishwasher in instead. So we're trying to, all we're trying to do is partner up with this home seller, clean it up, make it look good, and sell it. That's what we're trying to do to, to help him get out and to help us make a profit. If we start doing everything you're talking about, there's no room for us anymore. 
I'm just telling you, there's no room. You do this, you, I agree, you can make things look beautiful, but there's a cost for that, and there's not always a return So right it. now we have two grand under the floor. Why are you yelling at me? I'm right next to you. Because you're annoying me. Talk to me. Right now we have two grand into the floors, and then we have demo and a railing. So demo and a railing means that you want to keep a half wall there? You could either keep a half wall there or you could take that wall all the way out and put um, a railing in. You don't have to take the wall all the way out. You so, could just you could actually just cut it down to this chair. When you say rail. we have demo, we have electrical wiring, we have we have a furnace vent right there, we have a forced hot air vent right there. So so, and probably one of these is load bearing. I would imagine this one probably, probably that is. One. Yeah. So that one we'd probably have to leave the doorway and just do like a cutout pass through, and that's fine. But this wall could go from the chair rail up, okay. so that it would at least open. It would make it feel so a lot bigger. So here's a question: will, that make, will, will it make a difference in the sale price of the house? So everything we, you know, everything we talk about when we you watch us in these videos, every if we can spend a dollar, can we get a dollar fifty back? So a dollar, can we get two dollars back? That's what we're we're investors. So that's what we're always looking for: is how can we make and we we're make also it work. looking for houses to sell quickly and not sit. And so if you well, make yeah, the more you, but the more you make the house appealing to a buyer, okay. the faster it's going to sell. So let's, right. let's look at the rest of the house rather than argue about how much we've spent because we haven't spent ten grand yet. Yes, dear. Doors in good shape. Yeah, we don't need we don't need interior doors. We'll put we'll put brushed nickel on instead Thank of Thank God, but. because right now, because of COVID, we're finding out that doors through Home Depot are 12 weeks back ordered. So all this shutdown, stupid people doing this drives me nuts, but all this shutdown that's closed us, is the, the, the impact is gonna be in the next three months. We're gonna really feel the impact because of all the, it's not just what's happened now, don't even get, I could spend a whole day talking about that, but they're killing us, so. But there's gonna be supply chains not getting to us and a lot of stuff, so. So we need closet doors, which might be a challenge to get. Um, there's no ceiling lights in these bedrooms, but I think that's okay. That's not unheard of in these houses. Sometimes we do go ahead and run the electrical. Right now the electrical, there is a switch in the room, but it runs to a, an outlet, so people you know, have a lamp there. Ideally, it's good to have a, a light on the ceiling, especially, luckily we're in the summer months, so we have a light longer, but in the winter months, we've actually lost on sales because people walk in and it's so dark in the house, in the bedrooms. So, not bad, so this is, this is paint and floors and closet doors. Okay, so we have a tub, the toilet, I mean the vanity is in good shape, they have a new vanity top it looks like. I, I can live with this. Okay. I mean, it's not what I would pick if I was redoing it, but it's not bad enough to say, let's redo it all. Right. I don't love the tub, but it's not, it's not a deal killer for me. Like, we could stage around this. A lot of brass in here. There is, so we'd switch that That's out. All, well, I don't know if you can switch it out. It's all brass, though. So the whole thing's consistent. Well, so maybe in here the brass stays. I don't think somebody would not buy it because of brass. No, I don't either. Actually, that's, probably we keep it on the doors too because all the hinges are brass as well. That's so the, I, I probably wouldn't even change that. So if you left the corner over there where the switches were so we didn't have to mess with electrical, and then you left this corner, and then you left that corner over there where the other doorway to the kitchen I, is. I think you're going to have to. I think you're gonna, this is going to be a low-bearing wall. That'd we'll be the roof fine. Going. Why are you yelling at me? I just said, okay. I was, oh, okay. I was just saying. So you, actually, so the you have stairwell to go there. is right there. Yeah, so, yeah right. So is that going to... Does that gain you anything? It still makes it a lot more open. It does? You know, from here over, you have maybe a four-foot pasture. That's enough room to put two bar stools and not be in the way of the hallway. Will that just be a wall? Yeah. Or will that be open and that just be a, you, just you a well that goes down? You could have it be open. I'd probably open it because I think it would look nice. But you could have a nice chunky column on the corner here. Yeah, I think you have to. On, on all three, this corner and then the, the two entries. Hey, look it. Phone so, call. Hey, I have a new cell phone. I, I guess I was done talking. I get distracted easily. Squirrel! <laughs> and you kids know what this is? Do you know how to dial the numbers? I'll bet you don't. <laughs> of course, I'm old. All right. So that would definitely make this feel, because, I mean, the living room's okay, but it could feel a little bigger, and it can, needs to definitely be more open concept to make it appealing to a buyer. Okay. And the dining room's quite small, so, so opening no that up. top, it's just open. Right. Older, but probably acceptable. 100. Uh, yeah, it looks like a hundred. 
I'm getting old. That might say one. Does that say 150 or 100? You tell me. It says 150. 150. All right. That wire looks like. It. All right. Well, if it's 150, that's great. Yeah. Smells like cat a little bit down here, but. You could either leave that or paint it and freshen it up. I think you leave it again, cost-wise, because we get you know. Let's we'll, we'll go upstairs and discuss numbers in a minute, but. I mean, you could just paint this floor. Right. You don't even have to put carpet down. Right. You could paint it. Is this a is this a functional stove? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, it is. It's gas. Furnace looks okay. So let me look at the majors down here. So, being that this is semi-finished and we could actually make it look finished, you wouldn't even have to put a door at the bottom of the stairs. Okay. Just make this feel like part of the house and it's like extra bonus space. I figured to... Uh... So you're gonna put new ceiling tiles in? I mean, where where needed? Yeah, they're not bad. Laundry's here. It looks bone. It looks bone dry down here, which is good. There's dehumidifier here, but it looks bone dry. Which looking at? Is that? I don't know if that's a sprinkler system or what it is. Looks like it. Yeah, a sprinkler system. That'd be helpful. This in the is resale. actually not bad. This is actually a really nice extra bonus area. This this whole basement. You could you could you could clean this up and have this be a great little space. Paint the floors. Yeah, paint the floors or throw some cheap tar carpet down here. So I see dehumidifiers, which makes me nervous because there's probably moisture. moisture. So you can start putting carpets to start, you know. If you lived here, wanted to wanted to make this official. Now that one's an old phone. That's an old phone. That's the too. one you should have shown. Nice. Well, you could show it. There you go. Look at that. That one's an old phone. Like, look at even the receiver. Cool. <laughs> it's got the three slots. Here's a canoe. It's a little small for me, but I can maybe try and make that work. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it would sink. You're so cute. So this is loud back here. It's very loud. So that's going to detract from a resale price for sure. Probably 10, 15,000 minimum off the top for that. Well, unless we can find comps that are right on the street and see what they sold for. We can, but they're all fenced with big trees. They're all, this, the neighbors are all big, huge trees, which will muffle the noise. And then the neighbors have they built up their lawn. They built their lawn up so that their fence could be higher. Right. They built a big patio. There's probably a pool in there. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just a big patio. You know, the deck is not bad. So it just needs some deck over. So this fence is pretty shot. Yeah. Now you can replace a section of that. Make some repairs. So do you touch up the windows outside? It's got one brown, one green. So those are. You paint them. That's yeah. just the wood. You just paint those. Okay. That's not a big do deal. You have to paint the deck. Uh, it would look a lot better. Okay. So a thousand bucks for the deck. If thousand bucks I mean I'm asking. material oh, labor, oh, material the, and labor. The, the deck over isn't cheap you know it's not Do it's not 30 like bucks this, you feel like this may have been a flip that someone is abandoning because I don't know the situation it kind of feels like a flip it kind of no? has that look to it it kind of looks like a flip that somebody maybe lost interest in yeah Here's one of those lovely locust so, trees. So a partner might, you know, this kind of situation that we were talking about doing here might make sense. Because the cash price, well, doesn't make any sense. We can't. The fence for this, if we were to fence it, it's probably about two grand for this side and the back. To fence the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think you get, I don't think you gain anything because you're always, whenever you put a fence, you're going to be standing above the fence here. Right. When you walk out, you're standing above the fence. So what's the, you know what I mean? You're gonna, it's like you're going to hide people and go, well, they don't Except see it. it might muffle some of the noise. I don't think so. Not, we're up here. It might muffle a little bit, but, you know, I think planting a bunch of trees and shrubs along there is probably their best bet. All right. Let's have the discussion. I don't think that budget is out of the question. Let's run through it. Floors are two. I think it's two grand. Okay. I, I, you know, I go on the high side. Okay. Um, paint is probably another two. Okay. 
so that's four. Bathroom doesn't really need a lot of work, just minor, minor stuff, some trim work here and there. Let's throw a thousand bucks at like trim work and stuff like that. Okay, so, so that's five. five. Chopping this wall off, doing a little bit of electrical work. Okay, it'll be a thousand bucks anyway. I'm so, telling okay, you. fine. Let's say that that's six. You have to have a dumpster if you get rid of stuff. There's time, there's electric. And you know what you're going to find? You you tear out a wall, we're going to, we're going to find this up plumbing vent well, or, and we might or have to put not either, plumbing vent but a heating vent or who knows. We might have to put a micro lamb or engineered wood in. So fine. Let's say a thousand dollars for that. There's a ceiling fan that's really ugly. Let's put a light in there but that's a hundred bucks. A little bit of exterior painting the deck. So let's say the minor exterior painting in the deck. Let's call that another thousand. That's seven. Mm -hmm. The kitchen I don't really need to do much with. I mean. What are you going to do about a dishwasher? We either get rid of this cabinet and put a dishwasher in, or we just don't worry about a dishwasher. Basement, you wanna paint the basement up? The, f the floor for sure. Okay. Um, the walls I'm, I'm iffy on, you know, I don't like that wood, but you know, and it would definitely make it look a lot more brighter and, and modern if we painted it. But somebody might like that for a man cave too. So I'm, I'm kind of on the fence, which I rarely am. You know, I normally have my very definitive answers on stuff. Because you're very decisive. Um, but I'm, I'm on the fence because it's in good condition and it doesn't look horrible. Okay. So what are we at, seven? Mm -hmm. So with the other little miscellaneous stuff here and there, I, I think 10 grand's a very doable budget. And that's material and labor. So we that means I owe you an apology for calling you a pain in the ass? Yeah, you do. I'll think about it. I'm sorry. You owe me a nice big dinner. I do think it'd be a good idea to do something with that back. Just one section of fence? Yeah. Something? All the way across the back. All right, so if we do that, I, think, I gotta look at the numbers. I think, they, I think he wants like 170 or 180 for it, and I think the resale is somewhere around 250, 240. So, you know, again, what does that look like? We, we're, we're paying all the exit, we're paying all the closing costs, which is a few grand. We're paying the um, commissions, which on a house like this is gonna be, you know, you're looking at uh, eight grand. So there's a big chunk right there. So you're looking at 10 grand coming off the top of that. So let's say you sell for 240, you're in for 230. You know, then we have 10 grand in materials. So we're at 220. I'm just saying the net figure. So 220, um, you know, five grand for surprise holding cost, whatever. I guess, I guess we have to work out who's doing the holding cost. But if it's 230 and we buy for, let's say 170, um, you know, it's got, it's got potential to have a good return. That cabinet's been upside down. See how the top of the cabinet doors are taller than those? Oh, yeah. This should have been at the top, and then uh, they should have been flush, like these are flush to oh, the bottom. Oh, look at that. Isn't that funny? Somebody put it in wrong. Yeah, there's the bottom. It's, it's upside down. Ah. Bless you. Are there eggs around? Shut up. <laughs> All right. Well, I will let our team finish negotiations on this, but now I get to see how we take a look at a house like this and how we uh, how we spend our date nights because I'm very romantic. Normally I actually am. We haven't had any date night for since like, March. Since was like ever. So <laughs> since yeah. March. It's before that it was a busy year before that. These, so these floors are even okay. We, they clean up. Yeah. I think we're good there. So all right. Let's go back and talk to our team. See if we can make something happen. Again, we're we are in the innovation side of our business and it's forcing us to grow and think outside the box and figure and out new ways to do business. Also get back to some of our roots because you yes. know we've gotten kind of so focused on just having leads come to us, come to us, come to us that we've we've gathered and stopped hunting and we our bread and butter was hunting. Yeah. And that's, that's how, how we, that's built, how our we built our whole business when it was just Glenn and I. And also and being so, creative, not just right. not just doing a flip or not just we we are we buy look for flips and rentals and short term rentals and long term rentals and and um, again, full on flips and now partnering situations. We, right. we, we did that a couple times in, out of 600 houses, we've done a couple of, of partner deals. We could do a lot more with the right people. So, so it's a win-win. They can get their money, we can get our money, everybody moves on happy and, and we do our thing. With the time and history that we're in, people are gonna be a lot more open to creative solutions as well. Yeah, for sure, so. All right, hopefully our team can lock this one down. And if so, we'll show you some before and after and we'll- uh, See you on the next Home Flipping Adventure. See you there.